Hi guys! Today we are talking all about summer makeup that won't melt away. I'm going to give you some of my tips and tricks um, and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite must-have summer products. Okay, first we want to make sure that we've got really great skincare on and that we're really well moisturized. And if we're not wearing a um, tint or foundation that doesn't have an SPF in it, make sure that you don't skip that step. Make sure that you've got your SPF on so that your skin's protected, right? We don't spend all this money on facials and peels to then go outside and suffer more sun damage. So in the summer, I don't know about you, but I like to take everything down a notch, right? Uh, I let my hair naturally dry most of the days, um, and I want my makeup to be really light, but still give me that beautiful summer glow. So my go-to is the Dew Tint from Beauty Counter. And what I love mostly about this product is that it has the SPF 20 already in it. So it's two steps in one. It sort of doubles as that skincare and that makeup. So I use a mix of the number three and the number four. And this is going to give you a really great dew finish. Uh, it's not sticky, it's not slimy, um, and it's not gonna run when it gets really hot, right? It's the worst when like you're sweating and you can like see your makeup running down your face. Nobody wants that. And sometimes I don't want a foundation. You know, I live in South Florida, it's pretty hot down here and it gets really humid. So the last thing I want is my makeup running all over my face. I really love to apply my do and my foundation with a beauty blender. And the trick there is you want to get it really wet and then you want to squeeze as much of that moisture out as possible. So um, the, uh, also with the do tint, something to keep in mind, it's going to kind of help even out your skin tone. Now it's not going to have the same coverage as a foundation. This is just a really nice sort of tinted moisturizer with SPF and it's just going to give you very minimal coverage but sometimes in the summer that's all you need right that's all we want so there you go all over and the shade match again with this because it is tinted um, as I continue to get a little bit more color over the summer, I do have olive skin. I will stop using the number three and just go with a number four. Um, a little bit's gonna go a long way. I just squeeze a little bit right here on my hand and I blend it. You can use your fingertips or you can use a beauty blender. I always love a good concealer. Um, so I'm really loving the Tarte Shape Tape. Now Beauty Counter also just came um, back out with their relaunched um, creamy concealer. So I am waiting for that to arrive. So for right now, I'm still using my shape tape. Um, another tip, when you are uh, finding your shade for your concealer, you want one to two shades lighter. You want your under eye area to appear lighter and brighter. It will help wake up your skin and your complexion and help you appear more awake. If you go with the same color of your foundation or your um, dew tint, then you are going to actually um, create a raccoon eye and it's gonna make you look a little bit more sleepy. Now, also when you're applying concealer, a little goes a long way. So because I don't have a foundation on and I do have a dew tint on, um, and you're not gonna get the same coverage as you would a foundation. So I'm just gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and just help blend in that concealer, right? So again, you've got that concealer on. It's gonna help lighten and brighten your under eye area. And then you want a nice, really beautiful blush, right? Something that's gonna make you look sun-kissed. You could also apply a bronzer. But if you're not looking for so much makeup, in the summer, and I just want to look at a little sun kiss. So I really like to do a mix of a bronzer and a blush. And I'm just going to take that and just go right up the side of my cheek, right? Just kind of add a little bit of color back into my skin. And there you go. This lighting is very real and raw, but you're going to see. So my under eye area, right, is lighter and my cheeks, just that nice little rosy kiss. And now you, you're gonna put on your mascara. 
um, maybe your eyebrow gel. I have um, false eyelashes, so I do not personally wear mascara, but the Think Big Mascara by Beauty Counter is phenomenal. And it's just that, it like really brightens your eyes. Um, but I will chat with you guys about a few of my shades that are really beautiful for summer. So I have darker hair, a darker complexion. So I like something that's gonna give me a little bit of a pop of color, right? So I don't look too washed out. So I've been going back and forth between the Rosewood and the Sienna. They're going to appear darker in um, the tubes. When they go on, they have a hint of vanilla Madagascar and just a nice sheer little lip gloss there. Just a little bit of color. So do you see how much lighter that is than in the tube? In the tube, it appears so much brighter. And then I will show you the Sienna, which is a little bit darker. So you see that? Sienna's on the bottom, Rosewood on the top. And that's it, that's your summer makeup. It's that easy and it takes you five minutes or less.